Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there, guys. It's never a dull moment in crypto. That is why I love doing daily market updates. And yes, I'm in the office at the moment. Guys had to come in and do a few things, but it's always something new happening every day. We have updates in relation to Ripple and XRP. You've got updates in relation to Solana. Gala Games is absolutely pumping as well. And a potential for Bitcoin to absolutely go parabolic with the rising inflation around the world. Anyway, let's get straight into it, guys. I don't want to waste any time. And yes, my dog is running around in the background, so I do apologize if she goes nuts. But anyway, massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well because as you can see right here i love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos dividend stocks growth stocks talking about passive income building financial freedom and yes my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth so come along this incredible journey it's been ridiculous so far and it's just getting better also if you can give this video a thumbs up watch it straight through it would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the youtube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that so make sure you give it a good old thumbs up it doesn't cost you anything it's down there Thank you very much. You guys absolutely rock. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. Do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that in the blink of an eye in crypto, as we've all seen over the past few months. All right. So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the formalities are out of the way. Let's go straight to the community tab. These were the altcoins up in my portfolio today. We had Gala up 45%. Interesting stuff happening with that. CKB, 28%. We got Solana at 22%. We've got Alliance Block at 16.8% and Luna up 17% as well. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be building out my own staking platform. Now, that's obviously you know a very long and drawn out process and it needs experienced developers to build this out as well. People will be fully in control of their own funds. I mean, you can take it out, you can take, leave it in, whatever you want. There will be some good yields as well that I'm working on. And obviously, guys, more importantly, it is not going to be rug pulled, all right? So I'm going to make sure of that. Now, let's go to CoinSpot. This is where I personally buy my cryptos in Australia. There is a referral link below. Please feel free to use that. You will get $10 in Bitcoin. Of course, do your own research with this stuff. Now, all the prices are in Australian dollars. Everything else is set to US dollars because I'm catering for everybody around the world, all right? Aussie dollars, Aussie dollars, and US dollars, all right? And this video is not old. It is the 10th of January today, 2023. This month is already flying. Bitcoin sitting at $25,000 today. It has been hovering around the 24 to 30K level. Ethereum's at 1,900. You've got XRP at 51 cents. ADA is at 47 cents. You've got Dogecoin at 11 cents as well. Maddox at a dollar 26. Solana's up slightly 1.12% to $24. My trading bot in the Patreon is going crazy. Make sure you have a look at that, guys. No joke. Polka dots at seven dollars. Moving down, you got Link at nine dollars. XLM is eleven cents. Algorand's at thirty cents. Quant is at one hundred and seventy-seven. Nears at two dollars. V Chain is at two cents as well. Sorry, Nears at two dollars. Yes, Hedera's at six cents. Uh, and of course, Axe Infinity is at $10 up slightly, which is nice. Altcoins are doing quite well today. The graphs are $0.10 cents as well. Neo's at $10. I was buying that crazy. FTT, guys, are people are shorting the hell out of that. 35% stay clear of that. You will get damaged. XDC is at $0.04. Cents, and of course, Casper is at $0.04 cents as well. Gala is at 17% today, uh, obviously trading at $0.06. Cents. Now, that is absolutely pumping. Had you bought that a few days ago, you'd be up 35% on your money, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now, my trading bots are up 120%, actually, so it's crazy. Anyway, let's go to Crypto Bubbles. Guys, with the Wall Street Bull Patreon linked below. Again, I put up all my buys, my sales, my trades, uh, my crypto trading bots, my strategies. It's all in the Patreon also, guys, I put up some pretty crazy trading uh, platforms in there as well. Everyone in the Patreon knows about that. And also my dividend stock investments, which, you know, I show off my cash flow. It's awesome. So guys, join up. Link is below. Now, if we go on the day on Crypto Bubbles, let me refresh this. FTT is up 37%. FTX, I don't know why the hell anyone would buy this. That's just going to be shorted like crazy. Stay clear of that. You've got Aptos as well up 31%, which is nice as well. 42% on the week, which is crazy. And Gala, 15% on the day. 147, uh, 48% on the week. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, honestly... I've been bullish on Gala and play to earn games. Uh, again, Axe Infinity, Gala, you've got Star Atlas, Alien Worlds, 
I think all the play to earn games is going to absolutely moon as well as XRP. All right. And uh, what else have we got here, guys? Lunar Classic is up with 4.1%. Who knows where that one's going to go, guys? Zill is up 7.9% as well. And Chili's, I am trading this uh, with a bot in the Patreon at 6.2%, 18% on the week. Can't complain about that. Now, Flare, the airdrop, guys. Um, again, it's not doing too well in terms of price. Um, again, millions of users across the top exchanges have been distributed Flare tokens. Let me know in the comments below if you've gotten your Flare. And again, basically, the Layer 1 Oracle Network has initiated its Flare token airdrop across multiple major exchanges, including Binance, OKX, Kraken, BitHum, Upbit, KuCoin, BitBank, and among others. There are 4.279 billion Flare tokens distributed to millions of users. The airdrop marks one of the most large-scale token distributions in crypto history. And uh, again, its initial airdrop right here represents 15% of Flare's total token distribution. So basically, it's free money. That's what it is. It's free money when you think about it. So I think a lot of people have taken it and we'll have a look on there and basically are selling it. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. Now, uh, some interesting stuff here as well. Flare Network token drops by 71%. So uh, in late 2020, the Flare Network attracted a lot of attention in the Ripple XRP community. Bullish as anything, guys. The creators wanted to open up DeFi space for Ripple and announced an airdrop to Flare tokens to all XRP holders. And uh, you will need it to have been a part of the snapshot as well. So if you haven't held it around 2020, you will not get the airdrop. But it doesn't matter because I think Flare is going to be doing too, uh, pretty good as well. Now... XRP, guys, uh, must be scalable to accommodate 7.5 billion people. Let that one sink in for a moment. So the XRP market has received tremendous interest from global investors due to the support from Ripple Labs, despite the ongoing Ripple versus SEC lawsuit, which is coming to an end this year. Uh, moreover, Ripple's on-demand liquidity, a digital payment program that utilizes XRP to settle transactions, is live in key markets including Brazil, Africa, Asia, and Australia. Nonetheless, XRP Ledger has to competitively scale, be scalable to accommodate the volume of 7.5 billion people across the world. And at its current uh, state, XRP Ledger consistently handles 1,500 transactions per second at a cost of 0.0002 cents per transaction on average. The XRP throughput is considerably low compared to competing blockchains like Solana, which can support 3,500 transactions per second at a similar cost. Uh, again, I'm very bullish on XRP and Ripple, and I honestly believe it will moon. I really do believe that. And this is the time to accumulate while there's a lot of still a lot of fear and uncertainty and doubt out there. Now, wealthy investors still feel glum about crypto, but not XRP, which is very bullish. So crypto fund investors are still feeling pretty pessimistic about crypto industry. And I believe that's this is the best time to accumulate uh, research shows, but not when it comes to XRP. On a Monday report from CoinShares said that despite the $9.7 million in cash flowing out of digital asset investments products last week, investors plunged. Uh, basically, $3 million in the XRP. These sorts of products are only available to, to accredited investors, which must meet certain requirements per the SEC. This is major investors, by the way. They're buying up Ripple and XRP. Very nice. Now, a global recession uh, will push Bitcoin price to remarkable highs in 2023. I believe that as well. Turbulent performance in uh, 2022, basically last year, hasn't deterred big players from predicting a promising run for the asset in 2023. Bloomberg is one of the such platform with a bullish outlook for Bitcoin and presents notable reasons why the asset is poised to see rapid growth in the next year. And the rising potential to serve global economic shutdown may be a top crypto performance factor in 2023. Our bias uh, basically is that most Bitcoin is most likely to come out ahead in most scenarios. And again, I honestly believe that as well. I think Bitcoin's going to moon. I've been holding it since, you know, 2016, 2017. Bullish. Now, look at this, guys. Nearly 65% of USDC reserves are held in US Treasury bills, which again, I mean, it's a good thing in, in really when you think about it. Circle has held $43.4 billion in USDC reserves to back $43.23 billion USDC in circulation as at November 30th, 2022. Of these reserves, $12.79 billion lay in Circle's reserve fund, a registered government money market fund wholly owned by Circle and managed by BlackRock. The fund's holdings included 12 US Treasury bills as at November 30th. 
Circle creators its reserve fund on November 3rd. In less than a month, it transferred 29.5% of the stablecoin reserves to the fund. Since then, BlackRock's disclosures information reveals that USDC reserves invested in Circle Reserve Fund has risen $28.6 billion or, 50, or 65%. Circle is yielding some of the collateral over USDC's reserves to its external manager subject to SEC regulation, which ultimately makes USDC safer. Transparency improves too, since USDC users can now get regular updates from BlackRock, one of the biggest funds on the face of the planet as well. Now, BlockFi CEO obviously cashed out $10 million, guys. This is ridiculous. Look at this, but BlockFi CEO Zach Prince cashed out nearly $10 million from the platform following a $400 million loan from FTX designed to stabilize client funds. The company revealed in a presentation, FTX also facilitated confidential global settlement payment portions of which, sorry about that guys, uh, went to the counterparty that threatened litigation against BlockFi. Where's the money? Give back the money. It's ridiculous. Now, Going through this, guys, moving through a Gala skyrocket 70% after Gala Games said it partnered with The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. So the developers of Gala Games announced a major partnership between the blockchain gaming platform and the popular actors Dwayne Johnson, better known as The Rock, and Mark Wahlberg. Of course, diversification. Mark Wahlberg's got so many more businesses. But the price of the entity's native token Gala spiked by nearly 70% shortly after the disclosure. Gala Games revealed it, that it will uh, develop two films with the Hollywood superstars. The team said buyers of the movie tickets will be able to scan the QR code and win digital assets. The platform, a platform further said that Gala Film will use Gala as its own gas token. Bullish, guys. That's incredible. Now, let's go to CryptoMeter.io. We've got money going into Monero, Ethereum, XRP, which is nice. Bitcoin, of course, Sheep, Aptos. Uh, we've got Doge. We've got GTO, Link. Uh, we do not have Gala there, which is interesting. I don't know why. Anyway, let's go to Twitter, guys. See what's happening there. I'm at the Wall Street Bull Oz. Make sure you follow me on socials, guys. When I hit 100,000 subs, I'm giving this away live on air. And uh, Ripple demands the Hidman emails be made public. This is in one of their summary briefs right here, which is absolutely crazy. The SEC also argues that the court should keep the Hinman speech documents sealed so that the SEC can in future argue that the documents are privileged. Mm. Uh, but the authority, uh, its sites, does not support the re that relief. Uh, now, nowhere suggested the SEC sites, no authority suggesting that the documents should remain sealed despite a ruling and the privilege did not apply. It therefore is unsurprising that the courts in the district have historically denied requests to seal documents after concluding that they were not privileged. Anyway, so basically it says here, the defendants respectfully request that the court deny the SEC's request to seal the identities of, the, of its fact and expert witnesses and the Hinman speech documents and corresponding references of these documents and defenders and summary judgment papers basically be, uh, be disclosed. So uh, I, I hope that they will be disclosed, guys. It's about freaking time. Now, Microsoft in talks to acquire 49% stake worth of $10 billion in chat GTP, GPT, guys, owner of OpenAI. I don't know if anyone's actually used it, but it's absolutely ridiculous. Go and have a look. Jim Cramer, good chance again to get out of crypto and scale out of Chinese stocks as neither can be trusted. Absolutely ridiculous. That's just basically a buy signal for me. Government can just print money. Then why do we pay taxes? Absolute facts. Fear and Greed Index is sitting at 26. And uh, XRP holders, Johnny Deaton right here, please be advised that Crypto Law US received the below motion for XRP holders who had their XRP on Celsius Network and on the day of the snapshot will hopefully receive the airdrop. So if you've had your stuff on Celsius, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious. Uh, we have FTX spent $7 million on food in the first nine months of 2022. That's about $26,000 a day. Absolutely ridiculous. This is the guy on Joe Rogan's podcast, basically, you know, hating on crypto, calling it a Ponzi scheme. And uh, will the court force the SEC to disclose the human emails to be public? We should know very shortly, guys. That is bullish as anything. Once that happens, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Uh, let us know if you've received your Flare tokens. That's from Flare. Intel's new Bitcoining mining chips are now installed and live on the Hype blockchain's operations. Bullish on Intel as well. I like the stock. Jack Dorsey is basically working on integrating Bitcoin Lightning into the Square POS terminals right here. Those little square things if you have an e-commerce business. 
Uh, we have Binance's bleeding assets, $12 billion gone in less than 60 days. FTX again spent $40 million on hotels, flights, and food. What the hell were these guys doing? The Ripple defendants have filed their response in opposition to the SEC's motion to seal certain documents, filed in connection with the parties' cross motions for summary judgment. Just an update there, guys. And um, throwback to when Liz Clayman attempted to be honest with Gasparino, who, mind you, has gone absolutely crazy on the XRP army, uh, had come into defense of his hedge fund buddies, 130% of shares shorted conspiracy. I'm not going to play that, guys, but go and have a look at it. And uh, Mark Cuban right here, per Yahoo Finance, I want Bitcoin to go down a lot further so I can buy some more. If you have gold, you're a dumb as F-U-C-K. Anyway, absolutely crazy. And basically, that's Gala Games there. Do you want to know more about Gala's pivot to include mobile gamers across its industry? Bullish on play to earn games, guys. Let's go to coin market cap. We have 850 billion US dollars total market, 41 billion dollars in total volume, which is again is up from the other day, which is crazy. 39% uh, BTC, 19% Ethereum. Cannot wait for that to be flipped. My top gain is, of course, a Gala, Luna, Star Atlas, CKB, Anchor, Pitbull, which is hilarious. That was just a gamble. Luna Classic, Revain, DGB, Amp, Gas, and Reserve Rights. And guys, honestly, where my money's going is the banking coins because this is where the money's flowing, all right? It really is. Now, we've got Ethereum, XRP, ADA, AVAX, Chainlink, XLM, Algorand, Quant, Hedera, IOTA, XTC, Casper, LCX, and Alliance Block. And honestly, guys, I believe XRP will moon when this freaking lawsuit is over in a few months. That's what I predict. It's going to go parabolic. You will never buy it at 34 cents a game. I honestly believe that. And they're making massive partnerships around the world, as we all know, all know. Anyway, that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you very much for sticking around. Make sure you follow me on social media below. Join the Patreon. It's bullish as anything, guys. And I will speak to you all tomorrow. Have a good night. Stay safe, all right? Peace out. Bye.